Jenna Harper had always been a pessimist. She saw the glass, not just half empty, but likely to spill and ruin everything. Every setback, no matter how minor, was a disaster. Her friends and family often tried to uplift her spirits, but Jenna remained steadfast in her negativity, convinced that life was inherently unfair and there was little she could do to change it. One rainy morning, Jenna received a call from her best friend, Lucy, inviting her to a motivational seminar. Lucy had always been the optimist to Jenna's pessimist, and Jenna reluctantly agreed to go, if only to avoid another lecture on the importance of keeping an open mind. The seminar was held in a large, brightly lit conference room, buzzing with anticipation. Jenna slumped into her seat, arms crossed, ready to dismiss whatever cliched advice the speaker would offer. But when Dr. Marcus Hale took the stage, his presence commanded attention. He began with a story about his struggles, detailing a time when he had been deeply unhappy and directionless. Jenna listened intently as Dr. Hale discussed the transformative power of positive thinking. He explained how our thoughts shape our reality and that by changing our mindset, we could change our lives. For the first time in years, Jenna felt a spark of hope. Perhaps there was some truth to this, after all. Inspired but skeptical, Jenna decided to test Dr. Hale's theories. She started small, with daily affirmations and gratitude journaling, focusing on the positives rather than the negatives in her life. It felt awkward at first, but she persisted. She also began practicing mindfulness, learning to be present in the moment rather than obsessing over past mistakes or future worries. A few weeks into her experiment, Jenna noticed subtle changes. She felt lighter, less burdened by the weight of her thoughts. Her interactions with others improved as well. She was more patient, kinder, and more open to new experiences. The most surprising change came at work. Jenna, who had always seen her job as tedious, started approaching tasks with a renewed sense of purpose. She volunteered for new projects and took on challenges with a positive attitude. One day, Jenna was asked to lead a critical project that involved coordinating a large team and presenting the results to the company's executives. Her immediate reaction was panic. The old Jenna would have declined, paralyzed by fear of failure. But the new Jenna, bolstered by weeks of positive thinking and self-affirmation, accepted the challenge. The project was not without its hurdles. There were moments when Jenna felt overwhelmed and doubted her abilities. But she countered negativity with positive thoughts and affirmations each time negativity crept in. She reminded herself of her capabilities and the progress she had made. Her team noticed her new attitude and responded with enthusiasm and dedication. Jenna's positivity was contagious, and it brought out the best in everyone around her. On the presentation day, Jenna stood before the executives, her heart pounding. She took a deep breath and began speaking, channeling the confidence she had built over the past weeks. As she spoke, she could see the executive's interest and approval. When she finished, the room erupted in applause. Her project was a resounding success, and Jenna felt pride and accomplishment. That evening, Jenna reflected on her journey. The changes she had made in her mindset had not only transformed her professional life, but had also begun to repair her relationships. Friends and family remarked on how much happier and more relaxed she seemed. Jenna realized that the power of positive thinking was not just about attracting success, but about creating a fulfilling and meaningful life. In the months that followed, Jenna continued to embrace positivity. She joined a local community group focused on personal development and volunteered at a shelter, giving back to others and finding joy in helping those in need. Her life was far from perfect, but she now faced challenges with resilience and optimism, knowing that her thoughts and attitude could shape her reality. One year 
After attending Dr. Hale's seminar, Jenna returned, this time as a guest speaker. She shared her story with a room full of people who had once been mired in negativity like her. As she spoke, she saw faces light up with hope, just as hers had a year before. Jenna ended her speech with a powerful message. The power of positive thinking is not about ignoring life's difficulties or pretending everything is perfect. It's about choosing to focus on the good, believing in yourself, and knowing you can create the life you want. If I can change my life, so can you. The audience applauded, and Jenna felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had not only transformed her life, but was now helping others do the same. And that, she realized, was the true power of positive thinking. Positive thinking means approaching unpleasant situations in a more positive and productive way. It involves expecting the best to happen instead of the worst. Positive thinking often begins with self-talk, which refers to the unspoken thoughts that continuously run through your mind. In order to harness the power of positive thinking, it is important to consistently practice it. The best approach is to replace any negative thoughts with positive ones. This process requires perseverance and ongoing awareness of your thoughts. Numerous instances have shown that the power of positive thinking has helped individuals better cope with work, tasks, and challenges. The best way to validate this is to apply it in your own life and witness the results. If you tend to have mostly negative thoughts, you may be pessimistic. On the other hand, if your thoughts are mostly positive, you may be an optimist who practices positive thinking. When you catch yourself having a negative thought, try to stop it and shift your focus to the positive. Take a rational approach to the situation. If it helps, you can give yourself and those around you grace, while still holding them accountable for their action. It's important to understand that your negative thoughts won't disappear overnight. However, with practice, you can train yourself to have a more positive outlook. Remember, you aren't ignoring the facts. You're simply choosing to focus on the good ones. Each day for a week, think about one of your personal strengths, such as kindness, organization, discipline, or creativity. Write down how you plan to use that strength in new ways that day, and then act on it. In a study, people who did this reported increased happiness and reduced symptoms of depression by the end of the week. These benefits were still apparent six months later. With practice, you can cultivate more positive thoughts in your life and experience the advantages of having a more optimistic outlook. When you maintain an optimistic state of mind, you can better handle everyday stress in a constructive manner, which may contribute to the widely observed health benefits of positive thinking. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.